So it seems like um, many of the things that would write the fiscal ship are unlikely enough to happen that you don't have to address this question. But um, my question would hypothetically be, clearly the level of the deficit and debt are too high, but the right number is not zero, right? So yeah. how do you decide? Like if, if you were in this scenario where like all these things happen, what, what, what would it would be make you be like, okay, wait, that's enough actually? Yeah, it's a great question. So I kind of look, all right, and it's so hypothetical because here's, here's the truth that I hope doesn't get wide street webcast too, too far, is that like, I would like the debt to stop growing, but because the United States is, has such a strong economy, if we can just get it to grow more slowly, we probably are gonna be okay. That doesn't mean we're gonna be great, we're probably gonna be okay. Um, what I kind of look at this is, I'm not gonna give you a number, because there's no magic number, but I kind of look at two different goals with different kinds of trade-offs involved. The first goal is to achieve debt sustainability. And what I mean by that is basically, I want the debt that is declining, not rising as a share of GDP, and that I have, reason, reason, I have reasonable cause to believe that it's not gonna start rising again. And it could be barely declining, but like I wanna know that like we're in the right direction and so we're not at risk of some kind of death spiral with a hockey stick. And for that, I think we're gonna have to make some sacrifices of policies that we really don't like. Um, because um, even though the risk of a fiscal crisis is low, the cost of it is incredibly high, so we wanna avoid it. And then I look at a second of like sort of debt optimization. And so once we have a sustainable debt, then I think every policy you look at more in more traditional trade-offs, right? Because we know that lower debt helps lower interest rates, helps grow the economy. So once we're at sustainable, then I think you really do take it one off and you say, okay, um, we could raise those this, this particular tax and that would be good for the debt and good for the economy, but it'd be bad for the people paying the taxes and bad because it causes this distortion. Or we could cut this particular spending program. And so I kind of, I'd, like to, I'd love to get back to the world of traditional trade-offs which I think is hard to do when you have an unsustainable debt. So my first step is sustainability. And then after that, it's gotta be policy by policy because some policies have really high returns and some don't. And then at some point, sorry, it would get so low that there would actually be a danger of having, you sort of the benefits of lowering the debt more would be negative. I just, I so wish that we could have that conversation and I could be up here telling you that our debt is too low. Um, but I, I don't think that now we're not just like at the moon, now we're at like Alpha Centauri or something. <laughs>